Welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. Our impressions came out nicely. We are going to send both up to the lab. Uh, we're just rinsing right now the preparation, getting ready for the temporary. I marked the area that looked like there was a bleb, and I saw that with the scope. I liked everything else uh, all the way around because there is flash. On this one, I did capture that area pretty well, but now I've got another little area that doesn't have as much flash. So we'll have the lab pour both. We'll have two sets of dyes, and then, you know, they'll discover what they need. Um, so we're back here. Um, here's our alginate. We've taken our bite alginate first. You've seen this on other videos. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I did remove uh, the excess material to make room for more of the composite around the margins, as well as open up the inner proximal area. We go about 45 seconds in the mouth. Uh, sometimes a little less depending upon the amount of undercuts. I'll squeeze a little bit out first. Uh, have my light turned down, please. And we'll go ahead and you know, keep the tip in there as you extrude. Or if you're using acrylic, you go ahead and just layer the acrylic in there. Now I'd like to put a little bit around the tooth before I seat this. So I'm just going to go in between the teeth like that, hand that over. Now just let's find where it's comfortable and seating. Hold it. Don't close yet. Let's see where we are back here. Everything was uh, slowly close, please. Slowly close all the way. And squeeze and hold. And we'll give that 45 seconds uh, a wait. Hopefully we're right on with that. I like to do is just have water ready when we come in and um, so we'll be rinsing the mouth also there's going to be some excess material now this is where we can turn our light up as the material is light sensitive you don't want to use an overhead light on it while you're putting it in place it might set prematurely so go ahead and open here and now we're just going to take a look and see there's our tooth seeing it wants to move around a little bit so just stabilize it have them close all the way down uh-huh and just stay closed all right and now it needs a little water so open again okay and now i'm taking my scaler and just kind of moving it through the undercuts so it can come out without breaking all right so here it comes I can also see where you needed to reduce a little bit more. It looks like lingually. Here's your excess. This is again our soap. You can go ahead and rinse that thoroughly. Not only I check the lower, I'm going to check the upper to make sure the upper doesn't have anything above it. And we will ask our lab to do a little adjustment on the opposing to give us just a little bit more room. And uh, rinse that again, please. And. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to beef up certain areas with something called posterior flowable. So I'm going to do that now. And you can see the thin area where the palatal, upper palatal cusp has come down. So I'm going to add to that. And then we'll do an adjustment of his bite. Alright, that's one area I'm adding. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cure that with the light. I like the SureFill bonding material because it really is strong and it holds well to, uh, to this integrity. Integrity is a good temporary material. Some use Luxatemp.
There we go. So now that's added to his byte. And we'll adjust that in, in place. Now, first things first, I'm going to mark my margins. And you can pick any pencil you want. That's the contact area. And just visualize. Everything should be trimmed toward you. So I'm going to go ahead and start the trimming process. And i got to ask my patient, do you need to use the restroom? You need to go to the restroom? You're OK? All right. All right, I'm just going to finish up. We'll trim the uh, temp. Now, I'll use the same burrs that I'm going to use uh, to trim. This is my lingual margin. Actually, uh, that's the buckle margin. Here's the lingual margin here. Get this right, an orientation. No, I was right. This is the buckle margin. I'm going to trim that away. And that excess goes bye bye. And coming into the inner prox area, lingually. All right. Trim into the undercut underneath the contact, a little on the marginal ridge. Come around to the distal. Uh, you'll see it starts to be a little translucent there. Just flick that away with your finger. And now the buckle margin. Now internally I'm going to score it and we're ready for a try-in and I'm going to need my Duralon ready. So Duralon cement, we'll put about uh, one scoop out on the pad. It's called Duralon cement. It's a polycarboxylic cement. So we're going to try this in first. And uh, yeah, the scooper's in there. It's one scoop in there. Now we're ready to check in the mouth. There we are. Let's put this in place like so. Now our provisional's in. The next thing to do is to check the occlusion. So we're going to go very slow here on checking the bite. And I'm going to use AccuFilm. It's a very thin film. And uh, we may adjust his opposing a little bit right now. May or may not. The lab is certainly going to give us a little more room. So I'm going to go ahead and dry off the tooth, the temporary. And Pierre, you're going to feel like your tooth's hitting first, so just gently close till you make contact. Then just tap on that spot a little bit. Open. And now we'll make the adjustment. Alrighty. Right there. That's where we added the material. Close again all the way down, tap a little bit, open, close again all the way down, sorry, tap
tap, tap. You feel it hitting? Yes? Okay. Close all the way down, tap, tap, open. So you can see there's still some room to adjust. That's a high spot. And just slide a triangle in there. And we'll just take a little bit more off. Now we know specifically where. And I'm going to take a photograph in a little bit. I'll have to be off the air for that. I'll take a quick photograph of where we made our adjustments at our lab will know. Close down again together. Tap, tap. Open. And we're starting to recruit other teeth now coming into contact. Still a little high spot back there. Trying to give Pierre the, the benefit of, my, of the doubt. Okay, close again, tap again. All right. and just a hair more. And I'll ask you again. Looks like you're coming together pretty well. Can you close down for me and tap, tap? Is that comfortable? Okay. Your teeth touching on this side? Okay, sir. All righty. Perfect. There's our fit. So we're going to polish this by hand now. Just do a little hand polish. And I need a uh, straight attachment, please. I'm using the same yellow cup now just to get this polished up, uh, especially the lingual aspect. Two cotton rolls, please. I always try to have this uh, patient bite evenly on two cotton rolls, one on each side of the mouth. Now I'm ready to polish with a bristle brush. And then in it goes with Duralon cement. We'll mix one scoop with two drops of the two drops of the liquid and just hand polishing again almost finished and uh, you can see some rough areas so you gotta polish those out on the lingual aspect I need that back. Just going to take a little Vaseline and just coat specific areas around the margins with that. I'm going to go ahead and dry off the tooth. My dental assistant now is mixing the cement. The key is to keep them real dry, so we'll use our suction again. Slide that into place. It's nice and dry.
put this in. All right, Pierre, just nice and even now. With just squeeze down a little bit for me, all the way, and open, and tap, tap, tap down. Feels good. Yes, open, please. And ready. Close down again, please. Stay together. That's it. We'll see you in about three minutes. I'll show you how we do the cleanup. Uh, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo, live here in the office doing number 31 and Emacs monolithic uh, full, full crown coverage with all ceramic material, lithium disilicate.